Hi, here's just a quick uh, overview of how we can use the Google Calendar to the greatest effect. Now we've uh, established a number of calendars on uh, here that we're all sharing, so I thought it might be a good idea to, for me to show you quickly how it can work and how easy all this works, just in case anybody still has any doubts. All right, so uh, the first thing, of course, is that we have uh, those two main calendars in green uh, we have the um, the confirmed guests and then in orange uh, we have the um, guests that are still just a, a suggestion now the colors actually are not dependent on what uh, everybody else has so if you want to change your color just click here and go to this and all of a sudden all your confirmed guests are orange instead of green but uh, I'm using green because that was the color we agreed on now we've uh, I, we've renamed the calendars uh, to CC community chest guests confirmed and community guests um, community chest guests uh, to be confirmed just because when we had community chest in full it was hard to read now uh, we've added two new calendars uh, for the podcast uh, uh, tracking because uh, it was all in a book in the office so if you forget after your show to write to suggestions for podcasts uh, then we couldn't so now we can move the events in there so let's uh, just have a look at how all of this works together now first Google have made a change so now if you want to disable the display of a calendar you need to click directly on the calendar and then it becomes the color just uh, disappears the background color disappears and it goes away uh, so the same is for you know the all the other ones so if you just want to quickly at a glance see what hasn't been confirmed for this week yet you can do that of course you know, if you want to see it for the whole month it just becomes much easy much more easily recognizable uh, now of course I have this combined with my own personal calendar which uh, makes things look very busy uh, that's why I prefer to have a week of you rather than a, a month of you on now so how do we uh, get that so the, so the easiest thing of course is uh, changing the status of an event so here it is if I click event details change it to confirmed save it and it's done and it's become confirmed of course I'll need to go back in because it has not been confirmed this particular event there you go so could not be easier now how does the podcast bit work uh, because uh, not the same people are not using the podcast calendar and the community chest calendars we're gonna have to always the events you would like to have podcasted uh, you should always put them in a special calendar let me show you how let's go back to last week and uh, so for example we would like to have this made into a podcast so I click on edit event details again and this time instead of changing the calendar because we still want to have a record of what happened so we want to keep it in the community chest uh, I will copy it to podcast to do then the one the thing I should do is put any notes that I have for the people editing the podcast here including what I want them to put on the uh, the podcast page so here I, I can say uh, Dominic interviewed Luke Wright write about the new write, writing partnership and I will put the, and I can paste in the link there that people can go to and all of that and then I can say I can put in some editing notes uh, notes you know cut out music um, and uh, and uh, well if there is anything else if there is anything else uh, we can you know I can say cut out of initial part or something like that or or whatever whatever I want the editors to do so this should go so they will know that they this should go in there and they sh I should cut it out and they should cut out a bit but I don't actually want to cut out the initial part so let's get rid of that and cut out the music is kind of obvious so it's more actually if I say uh, track one uh, can't stay in because it's you know because it's a uh, uh, not copyrighted or something like that so in this case 
that's not the case either so I can just get rid of that save it I'll edit it on later so now it shows up in the podcast count now when the person doing the podcast is finished they go to event details and move it to podcast finished it's as simple as that uh, you know we could sort of uh, make this even more complicated if they if they wanted to if the podcast editors want to uh, have a third calendar for podcasts in progress or check out uh, they can they can do that as well but we'll leave that up to them so here we go now uh, of course that duplicates the same event so if I want to get rid of that I can just simply uh, simply this make the viewing the display of these calendars go away so that's as simple as it can be. I cannot imagine it imagine it being any simpler. Now there are a few uh things that uh Thordis and I started using. So here is uh uh one we started the calendar uh for ideas uh, but we haven't shared it with anybody but if anybody would like to use that calendar as well they can and we have also started using uh, the calendars this section that's undated events just click uh, click in there and say ideas for the day um, and click in there and, and say you know don't forget and in there what we're gonna be doing just put oh sorry that's the wrong one we're just going to put there in the notes um, we're going to uh, we're going to put the, the, in the description all the things we have to say on that day, and then we can, and then we can also add comments. So it's kind of a nice little producer presenter interaction feature uh, that we're going to be using. And if you want, you can put it in one of these calendars, but we decided to have it in a separate calendar uh, for for that week. And then we can have a little uh, little section of notes because I always keep forgetting to mention things. So uh, that's really it. Uh, some of you may be wondering how I made uh, this five-day display. Well, it's easy. You can go under settings and say don't show weekends or show weekends. Depends on if you if you use this calendar for other things. I normally have the weekends showing as well because it's important. One more thing that uh, you might find useful are these other calendars that you can see on here, and. Uh, you can just add those simply through manage calendars and then under other calendars uh, you can just, you know, go to add calendar and you can search a bunch of useful ones like holidays that's why I got the US holidays, Christian holidays, Jewish holidays, Islamic holidays so that way I always have on the calendar here uh, what's coming up, what the big days are, what their names so, you know, so which is can be of course useful for a variety of ways for a variety of uh, ways on the show. So if you want to add more of these, uh, go crazy. There's going to be as many, as many as you like. And if you, you know, want to make things a little easier to see, you can just disable all of them, and things going to disappear like that. So there we go. So that's all about uh, the uses of the calendar. Let's hope it will bring us joy and success.